Hi guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about Jeffrey Paschal of 90 Day Fiance. Girlfriend Mary Wallace has a criminal past. Is this a fake storyline again, people? Let's talk about it. We got to talk about it, guys. We have to talk about it. Okay, so last night, Start Chasm dropped the news that Jeffrey's girlfriend, Mary Wallace, has a criminal past. But before I get into that, I just want to take my hats off to Starcasm. John, you are doing a fabulous job. This is absolutely my favorite blog. And it's my favorite because they pay attention to details, people. They pay attention to details. And with a cast like 90 Day Fiance, that's what we have to do. We have to pay attention to the details because these this cast, they're appearing to be extremely corrupt. But we'll get to that in a minute. So let's talk about what John found out last night. Okay, so Mary Wallace was arrested back in 2013, and she was arrested for DV, okay, and aggravated assault. So according to the paperwork, she was arrested because she beat up her boyfriend. <laughs> it's not funny. I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm probably laughing at the irony that she's with Jeffrey who was accused of doing the same thing and like how what, <laughs> what? Mary's beating up people too okay so according to the paperwork uh, she threw glasses at her ex I'm gonna assume this this was her ex because you can't have this type of relationship and still have a long-lasting you can't have this type of behavior and have a long-lasting relationship. I mean, that's when I last checked, that was, those were the rules. Anyway, she threw uh, glasses at him that uh, got lodged into the wall. Then she hit him, and then she bit him several times. What? I mean, really? Mary's beating up people, too? What's going to happen when this couple gets into an argument? Oh my goodness, I don't even want to think about what's going to happen. Now we got to talk about the irony, the suspicion, and all of this, okay? Because it, it really is suspicious. Now a lot of you were saying in my comments section when I did a video about him and Varya and how uh, Mary was basically saying, this is my man, I'm not scared of him, you know, you guys say what you want, we're going to be together forever, okay? And then she was like, start yelling at the people in the audience, she was on Instagram live, like, why are you hollering? Let me see if I can do it like she did, she said, you're why are you hollering? Don't holler. You don't need to holler. I see you over there. That's what she said in her live. Okay, now, a lot of you guys were in the comment section saying the entire thing is staged. This doesn't make sense. I believe Jeffrey came out and said, no, it was not staged. Listen, it certainly seemed ironic that when Varia went to go see you at the perfect time that Mary was there, okay, she was there, um, the minute Varya saw her, she started going off in almost like a scripted way, in my opinion, in, in a scripted way. Um, Mary, who seems to have like a bit of a temper, she didn't do anything during the, after being busted with her man seeing another woman or vice versa. I don't know. It was just a mess. She was very calm about it. Now, we know from her rap sheet that she has a temper, and if she thinks that her man is not doing what he's supposed to do, she'll go ahead and beat him up. <laughs> it's not funny. I don't know why I'm laughing. I, it's nervousness, nervousness of this. Did TLC try to pull one over on us again, people? We have to ask ourselves. A lot of you were saying it already in the comments section below, like, mm, this sure is perfect timing. I mean, and then not only that, if you are the type of person that, now this is in my opinion, that could go ahead and beat up your boyfriend, you know, where you get arrested, then I, maybe you're the same kind of person that is not beyond setting up a phony scene, okay? I, I listen, compared with, compared to what you guys were thinking, like, per, this timing is absolute, this timing is absolutely too perfect for Varya to show up. Between that and all of the foolery that's been going around behind the scenes on the cast of 90 Day Fiance, I would say I, I, this was staged. Look, I just said it there. It was staged in my opinion. Listen, we're dealing with a cast who all, a lot of them have rap sheets. 
a lot of them are in love with camera time, okay? They, they love camera times. Uh, they plant phony stories on bloggers. They um, cause all kind of trouble with people. They admittedly make their own um, Instagram pages and YouTube channels so they can reply to the haters. Does this sound like something that that group would not do? And in my opinion, the leader of the pack the leader of the pack is Tom. It's not Jeffrey. I was going to say Jeffrey. The leader of the pack is Tom. Listen, this sounds so staged to me and so phony. Like TLC, you guys are slipping on your job. I don't think they had anything to do with it. Like uh, Laura Jalali gave me an interview in which she said that uh, Corey and Evelyn were staging their uh, marriage, their relationship, that they had been married for years. They're not the only ones, people, to lie to the producers. I'm thinking that the producers were lied to. They got a camera-hungry bunch this time. And let's face it, the longer the show runs, the more clever people are going to get to be on television. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, people. That's why they're doing all this. They love camera time. I mean, think about it. Tom stole other people's photos from other people's Instagram account, including what they ate, what restaurants they went to, and then claimed it as his own because he wanted to be a jet setter. <laughs> I mean, I don't make this stuff up, people. I couldn't make it up if I tried, okay? I mean, it's just ridiculous. I mean, oh, God. And then, and then the person who is who had this scene we all have to admit, go back and look at the tape. Jeffrey was loving every single minute of it, people. And not only did he love every single minute of it, he did a pub tour, okay? He went around interviewing left and right, saying, no, oh, no, no, this isn't made up. This is really real. This is really, really real. Really? I mean, okay, Jeffrey, if you say so. Now, just because I know that this is a phony scene, this does not mean I'm never going to watch 90 Day Fiance again. I mean, it is kind of turning into the Jerry Springer show, but I still like the show a lot. I love the show. But I will make a public plea, okay? Because I'm going to assume that you guys feel the same way that I do. I'm going to make a public plea to the producers. The next time you guys find someone that is falling in love with fame, stop giving them camera time, okay? We, we need to just phase those people out and keep it real, okay? Because they are wasting our time. They are wasting our time. And even bigger than that, they are getting on our damn nerves, people, okay? They're popping up everywhere with these phony stories. This is your job, TLC. I'm making it your job to once you find out that someone has lied to you, we are going to casually, easily phase them out, okay? Just fade to black, okay? That's what we're going to do. At least that's what I think they should do. But as I say in every video, we all have our different opinions, and that just happens to be mine. So we got a lot, okay, people? A lot to talk about in the comments section. First of all, I want to know, do you guys think that this whole thing was a setup, that it was staged. The whole Varia, Mary, and Jeffrey situation. Let me know if you think it was staged. Then number two, who was shocked that Mary can match Jeffrey toe-to-toe? -to -toe? <laughs> I mean, wow. You know, she came off kind of humble in my opinion, but um, this is a whole different Mary that we knew nothing about. So what do you guys think about Mary? And then number three, what should TLC do about their about the talent that falls in love with the camera and wants too much attention. We need to create some kind of system for them because they need to be weeded out, in my opinion. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. If you haven't already subscribed and hit the notification bell, go ahead and do that. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.